everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yannick and in this video I wanted to take you along of a week of my life of online art school. I'm currently in my junior year at Savannah College of Art and Design and I'm majoring in advertising and branding and I also have a minor in fashion photography. Next week is our midterms week so I wanted to take you along of all the work I have to do the week before midterms. So much going on. So much going on, I love Savannah but I'm getting my pants wet so let's keep walking. I didn't get many clips on Monday because I was busy doing homework. However, since I did not have class, I woke up, went to go work out, as you see some clips right here, and then I decided to walk around. I filmed that clip that you just saw sitting on the staircase as the intro on my walk on Monday morning. Later on in the day, I also ended up going to bowling to practice as I am on the SCAD bowling team and you will see a clip of me bowling that I got from that practice session. I'm out of class today we had a quick presentation impromptu presentation so now I'm walking I have a 30 minute walk back home which is fun fine whatever I like walking quick workout and then I think I want to pick up some lunch probably like a sandwich somewhere but then once I'm home eat relax for a little bit do some homework and then I have a class at 5 p.m. today So I'm currently in class, normally about an hour into the class, we have a break. So right now we're on break and then we're going to meet back up. Today we have critique on our initial comps of our advertisement since I'm an advertising major. This assignment is to make one loud ad and one very quiet ad. So for example, this is my very quiet ad, it's for Burberry a bag and then the headline says the perfect gift to ask for. Very muted colors, very silent. This is a magazine spread, so for two pages. And then for my loud ad, I have one for Vans, which a bunch of logos there, and then the shoe and a skateboarder, and it says the shoes that will get you off the wall. I'm not the happiest with the headline for this one, but we'll see. I still have to critique and then see what the professor says. Excuse the hair, it's a mess today. I took a nap before this class. But as today's just the initial critique, I wanted to see what the professor says about both my headlines so far and overall the ads. And then based on his feedback, I will fix that and obviously change some stuff up and make it better. And then these are due on Thursday, same time at 5 p.m. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday morning and I just finished up my workout, as you saw. I did back and bicep today. So after my workout, I came back to my apartment, took a quick shower, as you can see, my hair is wet. And then now I'm about to make some breakfast and a protein shake, and then get started on homework today. So after my class yesterday, I presented my ads that I had that I showed you guys, um, and I got some feedback from the professor. Um, so the assignment is to make the loudest ad possible and the quietest ad possible. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So this was kind of the ad that I made loud. I honestly really like it. I like how the stamp effect is here and it has a bunch of, you know, multiplication of the logo. Look, mom, I finally landed a kickflip. Obviously an ad for Vans. And then my quiet ad was this one for Burberry. She will accept this apology. Sorry for the fingerprints on my screen. And then the bag, super quiet. This is a magazine, magazine spread. So this is for two pages in a magazine. Obviously, super quiet, doesn't yell in your face, but if you see this one, this is yelling in your face. However, since it's to make the loudest ad ever, 
he wanted more. So what I'm currently working on, this is an example. So obviously Vance is known for the checkerboard signature print. So I did that as a background. I did dupli duplications of the skateboarder because that's what the professor said to use. But I want to go even more. So I think I'm going to play something with this. So if we can find more skateboarders and do like this, I think we should be fine. For the soft one, he kind of liked, I applied some of his feedback. I had the bag here originally and then I switched it. So I already applied some of that feedback. Now I only have to work on the louder. So let's see what I can do. Went from LA to LA on the run like I don't got an estate. I went from LA to the A on the run, you can tell where I stay. Counting all this pay by chase, no sleep, call me jet lag, baby. It's a little bit cold today, if you can see me in my reflection, I'm wearing my big orange parka today as my OOTD on my way to class. Um, as I mentioned before, I have a 30 minute walk to class, so let's get to it. This is the shopping street in Savannah, Georgia. This is Broughton Street. There's a lot of stores. As you see, there's some construction going on right there. There's a bunch of food places and stores. So to your right, right here, um, this is Forsyth. This is the biggest park in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah has a bunch of little parks and squares between every street. But this is Forsyth Park, the big park. Beautiful, great place to relax. And on the left, this is the building where I currently have my class. So I'm currently taking a SCAD Pro class and SCAD Pro is like a collaboration between SCAD, so students, and a bunch of different companies where we make projects for them. Obviously Disney, you see like Uber, L'Oreal, Chick-fil-A. So this is the SCAD Pro building, like I mentioned, Ruskin Hall. And then I just came out of the bathroom, of course. And this is the hall and then I have class in that big room because of COVID, we have a bigger area now for class. So I just got out of class and then now I'm about to walk back home, make some food and then do homework because I just got to sign more homework and I have stuff to do later today at my 5 p.m. class. Have a good day. So I just got home, made lunch real quick. I made avocado toast, which was so good, and some hot sauce. Amazing. Um, and then now I'm relaxing a little bit, watching a TV show. Um, I'm watching The Mick, which is just hilarious. Such a great show. I think in about 15 minutes, I'm going to start doing homework. As I mentioned before, I have a project due later today. At 5 p.m., I have my advertising and branding art direction class. We have a project due, a loud ad and a quiet ad. In that class, I will receive some feedback on my ads and then I can do some slight changes and tweaks on the feedback that I received and then submit it tonight before midnight. And then I also have a visualization roadmap project due tomorrow. I basically have to like make a roadmap of my dreams and aspirations for the next 10 years. And basically I just have to make a roadmap of how I'm gonna get to my dream job or dream place or future dream, whatever that is, um, in my 10 year plan of my roadmap. The roadmap is due tomorrow. So, so first I'll focus on the assignment that's due today, obviously. And then once I'm done with that, I can switch and work on my roadmap. So I just finished my homework for my class that I have later today, my loud and quiet ads. Um, right now it's around 2.30, so I still have some time to kill and instead of taking a nap or just relaxing watching a show, I decided let me go work out again. Why not? Normally I try to work out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and probably the weekends as well. Whereas Tuesdays and Thursdays I have two classes and I walk to my morning class anyway. So most of the time I just don't really work out. I try to, but if I have free time. So since I have some free time right now, I decided let's go. So this is my 
workout OOTD, my Team Aruba long sleeve t-shirt, some Nike shorts that I got from the scab bowling team, shoes that I got from the scab bowling team, and then some Nike socks. <laughs> After my run, I'm gonna do some pull-ups because that's something I want to improve on. Because like I mentioned before, today uh, is normally just a cardio slash ab workout. The gym is a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna do some pull-ups right now. So I'm out of breath, it's just red, as you saw. Just gonna do some pull-ups right now. Then I'm going back to my apartment, doing a quick ab workout in the living room because I think that's a little bit cleaner than this gym. And then back to schoolwork. Quick six, let's try to do a couple more. So I just took a shower after my workout and then I made a protein shake. Almost done with it, chugging that thing because it doesn't taste the best, but I know the effects are good. I need to get my protein in, I eat pretty bad. So now it's almost 4 p.m. and I have to wait a little bit over an hour for my next class, which is advertising art direction, as I mentioned. So I wanted to take some time to explain how the SCAD classes honestly work. So a full-time student at SCAD, you take three classes. Each class, you have two, two and a half hour sessions per week. For example, my art direction class, I have Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. So that's five hours total and then work outside. That way you can get all the credit hours that you need to be a full-time student. Obviously you can take more or less classes, but that depends on your eligibility. And also um, as an international student, you need to be a full-time student to be eligible for your visa. So that's why I'm taking three classes. So this quarter I'm taking advertising art direction, as I mentioned, I'm also taking advertising copywriting and I'm taking a on-ground class, which is SCAD Pro 540, which is a collaboration class, learning how to collaborate in the real world and work on your pitches, work on designing ideas, and just in general, how to be a better creative and apply that to like a career. So pretty interesting class. I like it so far. It's all teamwork, obviously, because it's a collaborative class. So that class I have every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. in the morning. And as I mentioned, that is an on-ground class, so I have to walk from my apartment to there, as you guys have seen before, that's about a 30 minute walk, which is fine. I like walking to get a little bit of workout in. And then my third class, which is advertising copywriting, that is an e-learning class. So that class is all online. That is not on Zoom or on ground. So that is just, I have to read the unit post on Blackboard. There's a lot of schools and universities that use Blackboard. So you've probably heard of it. Um, SCAD also uses Blackboard. And that way I can read about the unit and the information that I have to learn. And then each week, there's a couple assignments that we have to do. Most of the time, it involves posting something on the discussion boards before Thursday. And then I have to respond to two or more classmates by Sunday. And also each week, we have an exercise and probably a project as well. The exercise and project just gets submitted to the professor, and then you get a grade on those. I just got feedback from my project from last week, which I have to improve and revise based on the feedback I received from my professor and resubmit it before Sunday. So after I'm done and I submitted my loud and quiet ads for my advertising art direction class, I'll be working on the other project all weekend. So basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hopefully I get it done on Saturday so I can submit it before Sunday and that way I can relax all Sunday. I hope that kind of made sense. If you have any questions about classes at SCAD or anything about SCAD, obviously feel free to comment down below. Hit me up on my Instagram, my Twitter, whatever. I always respond to my messages. If you want to know how to apply, if you want to know anything about SCAD or what I do at SCAD, or if you want to know anything about athletics, since I am on the bowling team, so I kind of know how the athletic department at SCAD works as well, just feel free to ask me a question.
Good morning everyone, today is Saturday morning and I'm currently defrosting some chicken in the microwave. Don't make fun of me, I don't know how to cook. I usually use meal plan on campus, so I don't cook, I don't make food, nothing. So I'm trying my best because I need that protein for all that workout. So I just bought some frozen chicken breast and I'm defrosting it now in the microwave because that's what I read online. And then I'm gonna put them in the oven for like, as you can hear the oven is on. I'm gonna put it in the oven for like, 40 to 50 minutes, hopefully it's good. Put some barbecue sauce on that and I think I'm just gonna make some mac and cheese for the side, that's fine. Um, so I worked a little bit on my copywriting ads yesterday and I emailed my professor with him to get some feedback. She hasn't responded yet, so I'm gonna see if she's gonna respond today. If not, I'm gonna tweak them a little bit, make them look fine and then I can submit them. I'll show you guys those later today. And other than that, I guess, I'm not sure what else I can do. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. So I had my lunch, ate a little bit too much, but that's what happened. I had mac and cheese and chicken. It turned out fine, it wasn't amazing, but at least I made it myself. So now I'm back at my desk in my room, as you can see, bed made. Always make your bed every morning. Makes your room feel clean and nice and inviting and cozy. Getting ready to work on my ads for copywriting class, as I mentioned before. And I saw that I just got my feedback from my professor, so I'm gonna listen to that because she said a voice recording and then apply that feedback and then submit that. And then I'm technically done with all my homework for this week, but then I have something to do on Tuesday. So I should probably start working on that. So the assignment we got for a copywriting class is for these eye drops by Roto. These are digi eye drops. So they help prevent dryness and irritation for your eyes when you look at a screen too much. We have to make an ad for out of home. So that means either at a bus stop or anywhere in transit or billboards, but not during COVID. So don't mention COVID in your ads, basically, obviously, because we don't want to make our portfolio full of COVID ads, blah, blah. So my first ad, let's open Photoshop, sorry. First ad is a print ad. So this is for a magazine that says gets rid of irritation, like your loud coworker finally using his headphones. Then I have a picture of the product, suits eyes for up to eight hours. And then, so soothing to the eyes, you won't notice your co-worker's annoying habits. Funny, clever, okay? And it's a campaign, so all three ads have to be related to the same thing. So then I also made a billboard ad. The billboard ad says, gets rid of irritation, like giving your smelly co-worker deodorant. You don't want to sit next to someone that smells disgusting, obviously. So this suits your eyes, just as if you were to give your co-worker deodorant. Get the concept? simple because this is a billboard you want to have a shorter headline so technically this is too long but obviously i need to hear what the professor said about it and no copy at the bottom because people are not going to read this while they're driving and then i also made one for a bus stop and it says get rid of irritation like firing your annoying coworker that sends all cap emails that's also so annoying and then again product shot suits items for up to eight hours and other than that, I think I'm done with all my assignments for this week. So that was kind of a week in my life as a art student in college right now. Excuse the wet hair, I just took a shower because I just did a quick hit workout in my living room. And as you can see, it's starting to get dark. So I am about to submit my ads, as I mentioned before. Um, and then I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night and tomorrow start on my new homework for next week. Next week is midterms, so if you would like to see more information about me and how school is going, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of stories about stuff that's going on, stuff I'm working on. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this weekend in life. This is currently how I live my weeks at school um, in online classes. Obviously, I have an on-ground class, and in two weeks, we have registration for our new classes next quarter. So I'm probably thinking another on-ground class and the other two online. And we're probably going to get started with bowling soon since I am on the bowling team at my school. So that's a whole nother world of um, college athletics and college sports. So if you're interested in watching a video on how a college student artist athlete works, let me know. I'll definitely film a video like that because I think that's completely different from how I'm living right now. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe down below. It helps a lot. I'm happy that you made it this far in this video. It's probably a very long video. And I can't wait to get started to edit this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.